Hi, in this lesson I'm going to show you how to create a custom texture for your character in MovieZoo. Over in Mo MovieZoo you'll see what I'm talking about. Here you can see a character which has been given a custom skin. And I'm going to show you how you go about adding this to your own characters in MovieZoo. So the first thing I'm going to do is delete her and create a character that we can work with. I'm going to create the fat man. Now the first step that you have to do when you're creating your own custom skin is remove any of the clothing items or the attachments that you don't want in your mesh. So I'm going to right click to bring up the character editor and I'm going to take off his uh, collar and tie. I'm going to take off his cuffs and I'm going to make him naked by going to top saying none, go to legs and saying none, go to shoes and saying none. Now the character's naked without clothing, we can go about the process of painting our own texture. Now to make texture painting easy for you, we've uploaded a bunch of templates uh, to our website moviezoo.com. If you go to the de decals tab of the character editor, you'll see that there is now a custom texture slot down here and it's into this slot that we're going to upload our final painted texture. But first of all, those templates, where do you get them from? See this button? Get Custom Template, it says. Click on that, it'll open up your web browser and it'll take you to a page on moviezoo.com where you can download a template for all of our characters. So we're interested in painting the fat man, so let's get his one. Click on it, and what it does is it comes up with this image right here. Now what you're looking at here in the business is what we call a UV map. Basically it's a template, a painting template. It shows all the geometry of the character sliced and unfolded and laid flat on a sheet of paper. And we're going to use this template to make sure that when we're painting on the character we get things in the right place. You can see the character's head up here, his legs, hands, feet, body and arms, this bit down here is his lips and this bit down here is the inside of his mouth. So the first thing we need to do is save this image to our desktop. Desktop, it was a UV Fat Man PNG and we'll save that. Okay that's now been saved. So the process from now is that you're going to open up this template in a piece of software that lets you paint textures. If you've got money that might mean you've got Photoshop or if you're looking for a free alternative, there are loads out there, things like Paint.net, the GIMP, and the one that I'm going to show you today, which is an in-browser painting application, which means pretty much anyone can use it. It's called SplashUp, and you'll find it at SplashUp.com. When you get to SplashUp.com, you want to go to this option, jump right in. Still in your browser, that's going to load up a little interface, a little painting in interface, which if you're familiar with anything like paint.net, the GIMP, Photoshop, then a lot of this stuff uh, will be familiar to you. Anyway, here's what you're going to do. Into Splash Up, I'm going to open up the template file that I downloaded a couple of minutes ago. It's that one right there. Two things to say about this file once it loads. The first thing is that it is absolutely huge. And what that means is that uh, if you want to pay, paint a beautifully detailed and textured a skin for your character then you can do so. For most instances though I'm probably going to make this smaller so that we can work with it. I'm going to go to image, image size and reduce it down to 1024 to 1024 pixels. That's been reduced. I'm also going to zoom out a little bit so that we can see it. Now you might have just lost the detail uh, on your web so let's just stay zoomed in. The second thing to say about this image is that it is mostly transparent. The only information in this image is the black lines. Everywhere that you see the checkerboard texture, that's us seen through it. That's a transparent area. The next thing to say about this and working in Photoshop or anything else is that we typically work in layers. We can paint, we can separate an image out into several layers, almost like you were drawing on clear plastic. And you can see through each layer to the ones below. We're going to use that feature to ensure that we can uh, we can paint on the character. The wireframe that you see, the template that's come in 
has been put on this layer down here called Untitled 1. Now, for the sake of keeping track of things, I'm going to rename that layer as Template. I'm going to create a new layer, and I'm going to call this new layer Color. And I'm going to put it below Template. That means that when we paint on the colour, it will shine through the template. I'll show you what I mean. Let's first of all pick a nice red colour. Pick the brush tool. I'm going to up the size a little bit. And I'm going to give him one red eye. By painting a big splotch of red on this red eye. Notice that we're not painting on top of the black lines. That's pretty cool. That's because we're painting underneath the layer that holds the black lines. I now want to save this file and use it in MovieZoo. I'm going to hide the template layer. Up to File, um, Save Image, Save, and pick. And this is quite important. You want to pick a PNG format right here. The reason you want to pick PNG is that you want to maintain all this transparency. Let's just cancel this because it looks like it's going to capture the mesh here. What I'm going to do is instead of hiding this template layer, I'm actually going to uh, delete it. Or actually, better still, we'll select the layer and we'll turn its opacity right down to zero. Now when we go to File, Save Image, Save. Again, we're going to pick the PNG because that format supports all the transparency around the red dot. And save it to your desktop and I'll just call it Fat Man Skin. And hit return. Save complete. Okay. Let's go back to Movie Zoo and see what that's made for us. We've still got our naked Fat Man right here. Into Custom Texture, click the thumbnail, go down to Import and look for our fat man skin. Now it hasn't appeared on the list and that's because there's a little bug with that splash up program which we forgot about. Let me just find it again. When we go to file save image by default it strips off the file extension. And we just need I must have done that. Okay. So we're going to have to keep the .png part of it and call it Fat Man Skin and save that. Okay. Fingers crossed. Import Fat Man Skin. There it's there. And open up. Now you can see what's happened. That image that we painted, the big red dot, has now been applied to the character. You can see that it's been applied over the top of the character skin colour. And in fact, if at a later date you wanted to change the character skin, then you can still do that underneath our red dot. Before we finish, let's delete him and create the uh, girl character again. And put onto her the custom texture that I showed you earlier, which is this one. It's worth me showing you what this looks like in Splash Up. So we'll go back to Splash Up. I'm going to open up that image, which again is on a desktop. And it's this one right here. And let's just zoom out. Here you can see the uh, the yellow image that makes up the girl character skin in Move. And the process for painting this was exactly the same as what I just showed you. First of all, I downloaded the, the template from our website. I then painted in the areas that I wanted to colour. This big gap is our head, so there's no colour on our head. This gap here and here are our hands, and this is our lips and our mouth right here. And you can see that that translates in MovieZoo into a character that is all painted apart from our hands and our face. And again, if we decided at a later date to change the skin colour, to make a green, for example, that would all update. So in a nutshell, that's how you create custom characters for MovieZoo. 
download the template, use a image editing application to paint your own texture, save it off as a PNG file with transparency intact, and then upload it into MovieZoo.